There are 800 students at a school. Each student either has a school dinner or a packed lunch. 31% of the students have packed lunches. 55% of the students are boys. 60% of the boys have school dinners. How many girls have packed lunches? You must show all your working. So an important thing for questions like these is it's important to arrange your workings out in a way where we won't get confused. So to make it easier, we can display the information in a table. And we can label the rows, boys, girls, and then total. And we can label the columns, pack lunch, school dinner, and then total. So the next thing we can do is start working through the information we're given in the question. So we are told that there are 800 students at the school. So we can fill this into our table, into the total row and the total column. We are next told that 31% of the students have pat lunches. So this means that 31% of the 800 students have pat lunches. So to work this out, we're going to want to use the multiplier for 31%, which is 0.31. And then we're going to want to multiply this by the amount of students, which is 800. And when we put this into our calculator, this gives us 248 students. So again, we can fill this into our table. And this is the total number of students who have packed lunches. Next, we are told that 55% of the students are boys. So again, using the multiplier for 55%, which is 0.55, if 55% of the total number of students are boys, then we're going to want to multiply this by 800. And this gives us an answer of 440 students. And this is the total number of students who are boys. And finally, we are told that 60% of the boys have school dinners. Now, if we've just worked out that there are 440 boys and 60% of these have school dinners, then to work this out, we can do 0 0.60 multiplied by 440. And this gives us 264 students. And this is the number of boys who have school dinners. So we've now worked out all of the information we can from the question. So what we need to do is use this table to fill in the gaps so that we can work out the number of girls who have packed lunches. So the first thing that we can work out, if we have 440 boys in total and 264 of these have school dinners, then the number of boys who have packed lunches will be 440 minus 264. And this gives us 176 students. And now if the total number of people who have packed lunches is 248, and 176 of these are boys, then the number of girls who have packed lunches will be 248 minus 176. And this gives us an answer of 72. And therefore, the number of girls who have packed lunches is 72. And this is our final answer. Now this question's worth four marks. We'll get one mark for working out the total number of students who have packed lunches. We'll get a second mark for working out the total number of students who are boys. We'll get our third mark for beginning a process to work out the number of students who are girls and also have packed lunches. And our fourth mark for the correct answer of 72.